Afghanistan's Islamic State Khorasan ISIS-K, also known as Daesh Khorasan, has declared that its unwavering purpose remains unaltered. IS Khorasan has officially said that anybody who opposes Islam and the Quran would face the terror organization's wrath. According to Najafullah, an ISIS-K member said the ultimate goal of ISK is to destroy Pakistan since Pakistan is responsible for everything in Afghanistan. According to Nazifullah, an ISIS-K member, when the previous administration was still in command, and despite the Taliban claiming to rule 80% of the country, did not apply Islamic rules and precepts. Furthermore, Nazifullah accused the Taliban of destroying the country, claiming that Afghanistan has deteriorated since the terror group assumed control of the country. He said, we want Sharia law to be implemented. We want to implement the way our prophet lived, how he dressed, and how he wore the hijab. We don't have much to fight right now. But if you offer me anything, I will fight Pakistan right now. Nazifullah revealed that he joined the ISK group because the Taliban refused to show them a video of Mullah Omar, which is why the ISK group was formed and the ISK also promised him that they would enforce Sharia law. The 24-year-old Nazifullah further asserted that, despite being outnumbered by the Taliban, the ISIS-K is capable of wreaking devastation on the state of Afghanistan. According to US intelligence services, there are around 70,000 Taliban operators on Afghan land, while there are approximately 2,000 ISIS-K members. Nazifullah, the aforementioned ISIS-K member, is a wanted terrorist by US-led troops, as well as the defunct Afghan armed forces and the Taliban. According to Nazifullah, the ISIS-K militants are joined by a worldwide cadre of jihadists from China, Pakistan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. He went on to say that more Daesh fighters are being moved to the eastern Nangarha province for training. The Taliban, on the other hand, has consistently disputed ISIS's existence on Afghan soil, and even declared victory over the terrorist organization. Since the Taliban's overwhelming territory takeover, on August 15, the terror organization Daesh has begun targeting not just Taliban militants, but also civilians. The ISK has carried out a series of lethal suicide assaults and bombs throughout multiple Afghan regions, killing over a dozen innocent people, primarily from the minority Shia community. One such occurrence was the suicide bombing at Kabul's Hamid Karzai International Airport, 